All right, this demo is going to be on um, S9. It's um, basically three multi-view projection sketches. Um, they're going to look something like this. Um, they are on page 138. You're going to be doing number three, number five, and number 12. Uh, I'm going to do number five with you and kind of show you the way I want it. And then you're going to do number three and number 12 as well. So you'll have actually three different sketches um, on this one. One with me and then two other ones. So you'll turn it in as a package. All right. Um, so number five, uh, by the way, where the numbers are, are going to be where the front views are. So on number five here, when I zoom in on that, that the front view is going to be where the five is. The front view is going to be where the three is and so on. Okay, let's go ahead and make this a little bigger here. So I can't pan this a little bit here. Uh, like that. Okay. So um, before we start this thing, let's just kind of get an idea of the proportions of it. Um, it looks like from the front view, it's uh, one, two boxes. We're going to use the boxes here. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes long. Um, tall, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five boxes tall. And then one, two, three, four, five boxes wide. So the height and the width are exactly the same. And then the length is going to be longer. So eight, five, and five. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set up our um, our um, multi-view part. Get into my camera view here. Okay, let me just zoom out of the chair. All right, so we'll start with the, uh, the front view. We know the front view is going to be uh, eight boxes long and five boxes tall. So let's go ahead and start that here. So bottom left corner, uh, eight boxes long, five boxes tall. So um, not quite twice as long as it is tall. So that's going to be, you're just going to have to eyeball that proportion. They're not quite twice as long as it is tall, an eight to five proportion. Okay, we're going to go ahead and project the height. That's a five. And we're going to project the length up to the top view. Now, on this particular part, I said it was five tall and also five wide. If that's the case, then what geometric shape would this side view be? And it would be a square because it's five by five. So I'm just going to start it. I'll start it right around here somewhere. And then the idea here is I want to make sure that looks square. So it looks longer than it is tall or taller than it is long when you've got it wrong. So um, same width as the height. And then we'll start the top view right around here somewhere. We'll get our driveway line in. And, and again, just you might want to just check that by putting the uh, end of the pencil on one line, put your thumb down on the other, and then just verifying that you're there. Mine a little bit wide. As you can see, I'm not quite getting to the line there, so uh, I'm a little bit on the big side there, so I probably should have been more like right around there. So I'm just going to fix that and just kind of make my driveway just a little bit better and blow that other line out of there. And also, if you're doing this right, since the height is five, and the width is five, these two should look the same size. If they don't, you've probably got to proportions off a little bit. Okay, I'm not darkening anything, just kind of laying in those boxes. Okay, let's look at the parts. So we're going to box it, like I've done here, and then we're going to cut it. So let's see, on the cut, what would be the easiest cut on this? I always should look for the easiest cut. And for me, um, the side view, it looks like an L. Um, on that top left corner, looks like an easy cut to me. So two over out of five and two up. So let's do that first cut there on the top left corner of the side view. So here we go. So on the side view, uh, two out of five would be around there somewhere. Bring that down. And then up two out of five, maybe somewhere like right around there somewhere. Eh, like that. And then uh, we'll erase the material that's gone. So, you know, if you don't like your proportion, think that maybe I, like I, maybe I didn't cut it quite enough, you can always bring that up a little bit more, bring that over a little bit more and make it more proportional completely. You know, just, just make sure and do an eyeball check and make sure you're happy with your proportion. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better, actually. 
So I'm going to project now. We always want to project because you're going to get your clues as to the other views when you do this projection process. And then we're going to bring this up, this little trick here. Try to driveway that up and bring it across like so. And that's what that's going to do. Let my camera adjust here. Um, it's going to give you clues as to the other reviews. It's really important that you make those projection lines. Uh, as the parts get harder, they're going to save you because when they get hard, it's almost impossible to do just by looking at it. Okay, let's take a look at the part again and let's look at another cut. I think the other obvious cut would be right down the middle here from the front view. So it comes over to and it comes over to and then there's four in the middle. And it looks like it goes up three boxes. So in the middle there, it's gone up that third box. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, that was two up. So two over would be about like right here. And two over would be about right here. And then it's going to go up, up to the third one there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a cut that looks kind of like that. And then we remove all the material that's in there. So you'll notice I'm getting rid of some of that projection line as well, which is kind of what we want. And if there's no material there, there's no material there. And then you'll find that the part starts to come along. Now, um, once we've got our cut, let's do our projection. Project that up. Project that up. And project that over. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the part again. So well, it looks like there's a gap there on the top view down. If you look right in this space, there's nothing there. So that's kind of an easy one. Let's go ahead and get that. So there's no material right here. So we have this, this space. Let's go back and look at the part. All right. So then you start looking at it, you've got our cuts going pretty good. How many surfaces do we see? Well, from the front view, I see one, two, and then this kind of upside down U-ish thing right there. Now, what do we have? Well, we have one, we have two, and this upside down U-ish thing. From the side view, we have an L, and from our side view, we have an L. We have an extra line there, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then um, from the top view, it looks like we've got this long rectangle in the back, and then these two rectangles uh, kind of more to the front. So this long rectangle on the back, I think we've got that kind of solved too. We just don't have any lines kind of right here. And so there's our three surfaces. Now you are responsible to show um, hidden surfaces as well, like we talked about on the previous parts. So we have to find hidden surfaces. And you know, if you have a line that's there and it's unaccounted for and you know you only saw one surface, there's a very good chance that's a hidden line. And it can't be here because this is error. So we know nothing's there. So now if we go back and look at the part, we start to go, oh yeah, sure, you know, there's a there's an edge we can't see through there. Um, that you're not seeing. It's kind of hard to tell here, but there's like a tunnel going underneath there. So you're not seeing that edge. So we're going to show that with a hidden line. 0.5 pencil. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dash, dash, dash to represent that as a hidden line. Now, um, if you look at the top view, uh, we also have some hidden lines on the top view. If they're right there, see that surface right there? We can't see that surface, that edge, because this big surface here is hiding it. So there's a like a tunnel effect happening there. So we kind of see it, and then we don't. So it's going to look something like this. Um, the line goes, and then it turns into a hidden line. Dash, dash, dash. And then the same thing happens over here. Dash, 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 because there's a surface there that we can't see. Um, once you have the hidden lines in, basically it's a go back in one solid dark line and give me the good stuff here. One solid dark line, the good lines. Remember, no fuzzies. I don't want when you darken them. Um, don't, don't darken them like this. Uh, I don't even want double lines. Don't go like this and double line them. Just give me one solid dark line as we go back over these. You should be able to do these relatively quick. And you really want to get in the practice of doing this quickly. So like when you're in front of a client, um, you know, you're not taking forever to communicate your idea. The whole idea of the sketching is that designers have to communicate their ideas with their clients. 
And sometimes you have to do it really quickly because the client's not going to be patient with somebody who's sketching slow. It has to be in proportion so that you're communicating your idea correctly. And a lot of times you'll be sketching upside down because they'll be looking at it. You know, you'll be looking this way, but you're going to want them to look at it, um, you know, right side up. So a lot of times you'll be sketching upside down. We'll get into more of that later. Um, I'm going to come across here and just one solid dark line. The good part, I don't really want to erase it all on here. Sometimes you'll be doing this in pen and you can't erase anyway. So quickly getting the idea down. And we're going to go ahead and call this, uh, what was this, S9, I think. Um, get the number on there. And you're going to have three of these. This is one of them. And uh, the other one is going to look like, sorry, get my sheet up here. So this is S9. So I just did number five with you. So you're going to do number five. You've got that. Here's the solution. And then you're going to do number three and number 12 as well. So you're going to turn in three sketches for this assignment. Um, and right now um, you have one of them, and that is the solution to uh, one of the S9s. So just put S9 on each one. I don't need the number or anything like that. Put your name, your period, the date, Rev A, and then the S9. All right, um, so that is the demo for S9.